What's up guys and gals and welcome to the finale. Hopefully today we'll be doing our championship battle in Domina. My name is Splattercat, very pleased to meet you here today. It was very uh, awesome playing this game with you. So Twin Beasts of Burden. So who is this guy? Oh, it's two big dudes with a boss hammer. No, I ain't feeling that. I ain't trying to play that noise. Once I start getting into the guys that have the weapons that you can't even get, that's when I start to be like, eh. Yeah, raise your attack speed a little bit. I'm going to take the attack speed upgrade from our Doctori. But in today's episode, it's mostly just going to be sitting around waiting to see what happens. Uh, it's a 1v3 against people in decent gear. Am I chained? I'm not chained. So if I'm not chained, I think I can make this happen. I think this would be a good excuse for somebody to get some XP in. Fabianus has no victories. His agility is kind of low. Feed this one to Bonifacius. This will be his final victory before we kind of shelf him for a little bit. Assuming that he comes out on top. You can surrender in this game by pressing the G key. Uh, it means that you've got to beg for your life and whatnot, but it tends to work out okay. These dudes have nets, which worries me. But my dude is so fast that, like, I'm actually sort of okay with the fact that, yeah, he's able to fight these dudes out no problem. Bonifacius has hit that point. He's back up at uh, Fanius' level. Where he just, like, attacks so quickly that nobody can get anything off. Ooh. Yeah, that roll is pretty good. Is he bleeding now? Is that what's happening there? Yeah, he's bleeding. Oh, but you can block the roll. Okay. So that's pretty cool. I would actually say you should be able to get the attack roll a little bit earlier on in, although it does seem to be kind of brutal. I don't know. Another serrated poison blade and throw master. I would put uh, serrated poison blades basically on anybody that'll take them. They're really, really good. So your throws do better damage. I don't know why I would ever throw my weapon, though. That seems like a bad plan. Mostly I would consider giving it to him because he throws a net, and I don't think the net does any damage, but... It's probably better than putting it on nobody. Uh, food's getting eaten right now. I need to make sure that food happens when it happens. How long do we have till our next pit fight? Right now. Uh, it's a 1v1. This would be the time where we're going to shelve him. And we're going to start working on either Vettius. Yeah, let's work on Vettius. We'll call him Fettius Maximus because he's out there getting the cheddar. Making it happen, Captain. I do not like fighting with dual wield. I'm going to put that out in front of you right now. This is not my favorite fighting style. I mean, it allows you to put down, like, a real flurry of blows that they have trouble blocking, but they tend to do less damage in the overall, but that one, we managed to get him. Like I told you earlier, the Mermelo is strongest when you stand it. If you stand your ground with a dual-wielding Mermelo, that's when he's at his strongest. I still haven't figured out the magic to uh, having Claymores yet. Haven't figured that one out, but, you know, maybe I'll just keep him like this and I won't go his right-handers on him. Get him up to a real helmet, give him a real pauldron now that he's survived a couple battles. Get him some real armor. Looking good, man. Looking good. And I'm not just saying that. I'm not just saying that. Continue digging hot coal pits so people can train better. We're almost done with what? Attack vector, which is going to give us better attack speed? Sure. Sounds good to me. No, there is no food right now. I think that's because there's currently a flood, which is problematic. So we will probably want to take pit fights and whatever whenever we can, and at the same time, grant freedom to everybody that's eating our food right now. Like, just get them out of here, because we can't afford to supply them with food at the moment. He's got good stats, so we'll keep him. He's got okay stats, so we'll keep him. But we got to wait for this flood to go away. The flood actually kills off all the food, which is where you're going to run into problems. We shouldn't have too many problems in 31 days. Let's see what our next fight match coming up is. It's going to be Chained Lions, I assume. 1v2 Chained Lions. Okay, 1v2 Chained Lions. I'm going to go with... Let's give Vettius a shot. I think Vettius has a real chance to distinguish himself in this fight and make himself look real, real good. So the lines are not off the chain yet. He may be able just to cleave through them like easy mode style if I can get inside their defense. They aren't hitting that hard, so it's an option that I... Oh, that guy tried to fight the line. He learned that the hard way. Yikes. Well, nice job, Vettius. You've taken Nonius' job. I'm sure he's a little bit jealous. But Nonius is basically retired at this point. He's got like 23 victories in the arena. 
But yeah, continue what I was talking about earlier in one of the previous episodes. Gladiators actually pretty rarely died in the arena. It wasn't a thing that happened very often. Um, all things considered, with the way that it's promoted in Hollywood, you assume there'd be dozens of guys getting stabbed to death every single time. And it actually didn't go down like that. Your guards have found a pair of slaves trying to sneak past your road after having stolen grapes from a nearby vineyard. They both tell the same story. They were about their master's business, and that short of being short of coin, he demanded they steal the fruit if they could not purchase any for a fair price. You recognize their mark as that of your competitor and believe them to be telling the truth. I hand them to the magistrate. He has the slaves executed for trespassing, but claiming they had escaped his loot as your competitor escapes justice. That's fine. We stuck to justice there. Oh, good. Food's back. We can finally feed people. Pit fight. It's going to be a 5v5. Great opportunity for a lot of people to get a lot of XP. I think I'm going to go after it. I think I'm going to go after it. Oh, we do have a lot of cash tied up in this. I'm going to fight with Nonius, I guess, to try and keep this nice and clean. There is a chance we'll lose somebody, because these guys are much more highly trained and armored than the fights we've had previously. However, we might be able to do something over here. I'm looking for red circles around their feet at the moment. I do like how the dust gets kicked up over time, so there goes another one. We have lost no soldiers as of right now. It seems like they're mostly sticking to evasive maneuvers right now. He surrendered. Good. I was hoping we get that fight done because that represents a huge amount of time saved for what's looking like it's going to be our final warriors in the arena when we go to Rome. Very nice. So there's some cash that we can start to get ourselves resituated with. Put everybody on healing duty. They're all just going to be hanging out for a little bit because they're hurt. Alright, so our front line's looking solid. Let's get everybody in here who hasn't really gotten upgrades upgraded. So you're looking good now. Get you a quality weapon because I find that that's probably the most important thing you could put on somebody is a high quality weapon. If you don't have anything remaining... Yeah, throw a couple more hats on. Whatever. I mean... Might as well work on some of these pauldrons, too. Take you up to the elite pauldron. Very nice. Get you situated with something a little bit nicer as well. Make sure that those areas of your body that make you able to pivot and murder are in good shape. He's got the basic commas all nice and set up. Chainmail sleeve. Elite pauldron. He's done, basically. Except for, like, onyx mail or red dragon mail. But other than that, that's expensive. So we'll leave him where he's at right now. Our soldiers are looking solid. They're looking real, real good. Let's wait for the next pit fight. We've only got 23 days left till we go to Rome. I'm going to pay for attack shuffle. You can still move slightly during an attack. Sounds good to me. They're back up and they are training momentarily. Pit fight, what you got for me? It's a dual fight. I can do that. We'll put in Bonifacius and we'll put in Titus. No, we won't put in Titus. Remove Titus, put in Vettius. I'm going to control Fettius because I think Bonifacius will be fine. He's definitely got like the HP to stick this fight out and not have to worry about dying, so that's what we're going to do. Actually, he took a little bit of damage right there. Just stand in one spot and swing. Just hack him all to death. You see that right there? He was working those swords like nunchucks. It's like, what? Tack, 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 taking fools down. Whoop! Wow! No one fucks with Vettius. Cool. A little bit of damage done right there, but we don't have the next fight for a while, so why concern ourselves with it? I will use the cash in good measure. Continue stealing armor, because I'm worried he's going to steal a weapon and force him to stop dual wielding. Dual wielding appears to be working out pretty well for us. The other stuff, eh. You, sir, enjoy having real weaponry. Welcome to the Real Fighters Club. Because for now, I can afford it. God, you didn't have anything. There we go. Now you're a fighter. We got another pit fight yet? One day. Okay. I'm actually going to wait for our next battle in the arena. I'm trying to drain down some time right now. And we may want to spend some of our future money. We may want to spend some of our future cash on upgrading some of the backup guys just in case. 
just to make sure. I'm going to keep leveling up the Vettius, this Mermelo. He's actually doing pretty well. His ability to spam attacks through their shields seems to be working out pretty good and plenty for us. Prepare. Tats. 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 Yeah, just stay on him, man. If you stay on him, he can't do shit to you. You attack too fast, and you just seem to eat through him. Cool. Free money for the pocket. No hesitation right there. Get him healed up as fast as possible. And our next fight is in three days. So it's going to be right after our arena fight. With a little bit of extra money you've taken from there, I'm going to suggest you be a Mermelo. I'm going to give you, like, bare minimum equipment. But at least you've got something right now. And at least you're training and at least you're moving forward. Continue to dig hot coal pits. You, sir, sorry. Can't afford to feed you for right now. We'll grant freedom to one or two of you. Our next fight is going to be a roaming lion with two enemies. You know, I'm going to give this one to Fabianus. Because if he just keeps his ass away from the fight, the lion should take care of it for us with the way that this always plays out. Nope. I ain't fucking with lions right now. Go away, lion. Go away. I ain't lion. Leave me alone. I am ashamed. I submit to this giant 700-pound beast. Dude, I wouldn't be ashamed for a second. I'd be like, you put a motherfucking lion down in this bitch. Uh-uh. Normally, I try not to be crass on the channel, but this is a lion we're talking about. Are you shitting me? No, I submit. And if the lion appreciates my surrender and doesn't keep attacking, dude, I'm going to submit so quickly your head will spin. After a military defeat, several of the Legate's officers are on the run from the Gauls. I will send them on their way. Magistrate have slaves executed for their trespassing, but claiming they had escaped his loot as your competitor escapes justice. That was a different event. I'm going to say that was a bug right there. Oh, we got another pit fight, too. Well, we might as well take it. I mean, eh, that's a shit pit fight. That's a shit pit fight. I don't want that one. That's a, pi that's a pit fight that ain't going to turn out well for somebody. Go ahead and steal a weapon, I guess. We'll see what happens. I will use some of the extra cash to maybe get you to a point where you're not absolutely abysmal. Give him... You know, I'm happy with where he's at right now. I don't really want to spend the money on it. Just get him kind of fitted up so that he's in a little bit better of shape. And then we'll wait out the next couple pit fights in the hopes that we'll get some final last minute XP on some of these guys. I'd be willing to bet the final fight in the arena is going to be gnarly, though. I bet it's going to be bad. Gallienus and Sentius of Thrace. Continue working on... Vettius. Vettius, you know what to do. Get out there. Handle that thing. Get sideways dip at the sideshow. These guys gonna die, but they sure don't mind, ho. <laughs> uh, telling you, man. My rap career's gotta kick, it's gotta kick off at some point. God, he's like a meat grinder. I wasn't expecting the Mermelo to be this good. Once It's the skills. It's not him leveling up. It's the skills we have in our Doctore's talent tree that are making him so good. Whole ground. Knockback reduced by quite a bit. Yeah, I put that on one of my shieldy dudes. All right, with six days left, final upgrades in, because I don't know what's going to happen at this point. I've never been to this part of the game, so I legitimately have no clue. Final upgrades in that we can afford... Uh, red dragon mail is too expensive. He's got red dragon mail. What does he have? Commander's mail. Give him something just a little bit better. If there's any cheap upgrades we can make right now, I say just go for that. And then four days left until our final fight at the Colosseum. Let's find out what happens at this point of the game because, frankly, I don't even know what can possibly happen here. It could be anything at this point. You've got a dead man's face on? Dude, upgrade that. That's trashed here. I can't put you in a serious arena with that on. That's... Oh, God. He's got terrible shoulder pads, too. 
Here we go. One day left. Maybe this part hasn't been implemented. I'm not looking forward to watching all of my men get slaughtered. On the eve of the great championship, you reflect on the Ludus and the exploits of the past year. It matters not. As you spend the last day in the Ludus, you take care of your affairs. You notice the silent suffering of the men, and a new appreciation for the gift of life dawns on you. You receive word from your competitor in a strange magnanimous gesture, offers to pay all the expenses for your trip. A show of respect for you and your wares to represent our fine city to the rest of the Empire. What a strange turn of events, you think. You'd always suspected he would have you killed in order to achieve victory. What's it looking like? Oof. There's a hammer guy in there, huh? The thing is, whoever I put in the arena is going to die. So it's whoever I control that's going to survive. I'm going with Vettius. I feel better about Vettius than everything else, but this is it, everybody. This is it. We need to stay the hell away from that hammer, but they're going to rush in and get one-shotted right at the outset. I can promise you that much. There's another one down. This big son of a bitch has got to go. Like yesterday. Stay on him. There we go. Get him. No, we lost a man. We're starting to lose our numbers game here. Oh, we won! Yeah, I am the champion of Rome! Vettius, master of the blade. Oh shit, I gotta spare his life. Hold on. Double click. No, they executed his ass. Why? Come on. Woo! Wow, so much coin, so much food. We could basically buy every gladiator in the universe for that win. Because you have achieved victory in the arena and proven your worth as a master of men, your competitors felt threatened all year. The scheming fuck betrayed you. While you were in Rome, he managed to convince the magistrate and legate that you were conspiring to have them killed. Of course, being the rat bastard that he is, he went so far as to actually plan the assassinations and make sure that you would be found to blame. You were arrested by the Emperor's guard and thrown into the arena for the crime of murder. It would be a miracle if someone came to your aid. <gasps> we have armies! Thank you. Thank you. Dude, she's kind of a badass. No! I got too aggressive. So it looks like a bunch of slaves tried to save me. I probably should have waited till that fight was over or exploited the chaos. No. Your demise is not unexpected. Of course, they weren't going to let you win, but they weren't going to let anyone win. What you thought was a Roman patriarchy was just an incoherent snake pit of individual familial best interest. To you, of course, it appeared to be a unified them. But from your new viewpoint of omniscience and death, you observe the truth. Rome is but a spoiled trash heap of individual scheming bastards making calculated decisions to achieve victory over whoever they can. Your profound experience of graceful disbodiment is interrupted by Jupiter himself. You punch him in the dick. He is not amused. <laughs> and that's it for me. This was Domina. A game that I really, really like. Like, seriously. I don't get gladiatorial games ever. And if you do get them, they're like action games. They're not sandbox games where you get to do whatever you want. Colosseum Road to Freedom was the last game that let me do that. And so this game has scratched a very, very deep itch for me. I hope you'll check it out. By the time this video goes live, it may be released. I'm not really sure. I'll see y'all next time, though, everybody. Thanks for stopping on in. I do.